This is a really troubling trend. The rate of cancer in young adults worldwide has been going up by about one to 2% per year over at least the last three decades. What's causing this? It's probably not a single factor. <clears throat> probably multiple factors are at play, having to do with diet, lifestyle, and things that young people are exposed to. First of all, diet. A diet that's high in fat, low in fiber, or a diet that's high in ultra-processed foods, such as cold cuts or diet sodas. We know now that are, these things are associated with cancer development. Also, lifestyle things are suspected. Lack of exercise or obesity, we know now, is associated with certain cancers. Smoking, obviously associated with lung cancer, but smoking can actually lead to at least eight other types of cancer. Alcohol consumption is probably a factor in this. Exposure to sunlight because of skin cancers. Something that's relatively new is possible overexposure to medications. Certain medications we know that contain certain kind of antibodies, those have been well known uh, to be associated with cancer. But even things like maybe overuse of antibiotics might be a factor because antibiotics affect the microorganisms that normally live in our gut. The biggie is exposure to carcinogens. These are cancer-related chemicals that are literally everywhere in the environment. Plastic that we have our food and drinks in, um, industrial toxins that might be present in the water, air, or in the soil. These things are everywhere. So it appears that the sum total of all of these factors is underlying this trend of increasing cancer diagnosis in young adults. It's very important to be vigilant of the symptoms that can ha happen. So here's a list of symptoms that people should really be aware of. First of all, a swelling or a lump, unexplained pain, unexplained weight loss, persistent fatigue, a change in bowel habits, blood in the stool or the urine, chronic cough or hoarseness, a change in a mole or a skin lesion, any of these things could be a symptom of cancer. Now, they can also be associated with other things, so it doesn't automatically mean that it's cancer. But we feel young adults should be very much aware of these things and should see their doctor if they have any of them and should get them checked out. Well, we don't have screening tests for all cancers, but for the ones that we do, it's very important to get these screening tests. Um, for breast cancer, this is actually breaking news. Uh, for women with an average risk of breast cancer, they should start receiving mammograms at age 40. That's just been moved up this week, so this is brand new information. Also, for young women that have more than average risk of breast cancer as a result of their family history or other factors, they should start getting mammograms and other tests before age 40. With cervical cancer, it's important to get uh, screened either with a pap test and or with HPV screening test starting at age 21. Screening for colon cancer has now been moved up to start at age 45. And for people with a higher than average risk, it should start even before that. Early detection couldn't be more important in cancer. Early detection of cancer is very strongly associated, first of all, with better treatment options and also with better outcomes after treatment. That's why it's so important to be vigilant for symptoms. Um, also, get screening tests when they're available. Um, if we catch a cancer early enough, it's very likely not had a chance yet to spread to other parts of the body, which means that it's much more likely to be curable. And that, of course, is the goal. A great source is the American Cancer Society website, and I would search that website using the words cancer in young adults. Lots of great information on the things that we've been talking about. Another great website is yourpathologist.org. That's your pathologist with no space between the words .org. There's a lot of information there about what we pathologists do to diagnose all disease, but in particular, as we're talking about today, diagnosing cancer. Successful treatment of cancer begins with a correct diagnosis, and that's where the pathologist comes in. It also has information about if you receive a pathology report on your patient portal, it helps you understand how to interpret that report.